Hey guys, it's Molly. I am going to do um, a painting tonight that was actually inspired by Sarah Mack. So I'll make sure to link um, one of her videos, but it's gonna be a ninja swipe. So I've never done, well, I did one. Um, so this will be my second one. The first one was not so great. Um, the painting turned out okay, but I almost fell over. <laughs> the painting turned out okay, but it um, my paints were too thin. So I mixed them one part paint to two parts um, Floetrol and I was using, or my mixture that I use, pouring medium, um, and I'm using the Extreme Sheen. So it's actually quite thin thinner and it spreads out really far. So uh, lesson learned there and I'll show you, I'm not going to do a video on the one that I messed up, but I'll show it to you at the end with along with this dried piece. So um, Sarah does this kind of swipe thing where she slings the paint across the canvas. So I thought so much fun. I'm going to try it, but I wanted to use all extreme sheen paints. And I wanted to do it as a ring pour because she puddle pours hers. So I thought I've been wrecking some ring pours. Why not wreck it with a ninja swipe? So that's what I'm going to be doing tonight. I'll walk you through everything and I'll show you the dried results. So make sure to stick around to the end and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, guys, I, I just dropped everything that was in my hands. <laughs> Looks like my attempt at juggling. <laughs> bottles of extreme sheen flying everywhere. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. It, it tickled me so much. <laughs> I am such a klutz. Um, okay. So I've got, gosh, this won't focus. I've got the gold. I've got silver. I've got purple. None of these will focus. There we go. Amethyst. This color is absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. Looks like a berry. And sapphire and rose gold. So I'm gonna see how those colors come out and I did them much thicker this time. So I really just did one-to-one -one extreme sheen to pouring medium before I added a little bit of water to thin it out. And you guys saw from the last pour the effect that that made, but I wanted to thicken it up. I'm working on a little bit smaller canvas, 18 by 24 tonight, and I'm using a semi-gloss black house paint by Rust-Oleum, and I just mixed that with my pouring medium as well. Uh, that was two to one for just to coat the canvas. So I'm gonna head on over, get pouring. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing, just uh a ring pour in the middle. And again, I, I think I have too much paint. I just get excited and put it all in there. Gosh, those colors are beautiful. And they're definitely holding, so thicker is definitely better on that. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Hoya! Here we go. Okay, I don't know why I always feel the need to do that when I'm doing this. Uh, maybe I should pop some air bubbles real quick. I can see them. Better to do it now than afterwards and have those holes in my design later. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna just... <laughs> like a swordfish right there through the Ooh, I like that whoops scraped off some of the canvas let's see me here I'll put you back I'll put you back there you go buddy I am in a silly mood tonight sorry guys well why am I apologizing you guys get in a silly mood with me you're watching this video too um, okay so I need to be a little bit more gentle Oh, 
Oh, I love these cells that are popping up. All right, get a little bit more paint back. I keep dipping too far in. Should I swipe one more time, guys? What do you think? Okay, that's it. I think I'm done. I think I'm done with the swiping. Now time to tilt. We'll see what this thicker medium does. I, I wish that I had a lime green because I think that that would have gone nice in it. Sarah Mack, the one that does all these, she uses beautiful berries and lime green and olive green colors together. But when I ordered the uh, Deco Art Extreme Sheen, they didn't have that one and I wanted to use all Extreme Sheen in this painting. So it looks really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna tilt, I'm trying to decide which way to tilt first. I like this little spiral thing here, so I think I'll go, whoops, just kidding. I think I'll go this way. Back up and over. Oh, I don't wanna lose any of those cells right there. That is really, really pretty. Okay, down and over. I know you guys can't see, I'll bring you back in just a second. And then maybe down. Oh, I have like a little bird. You guys will see it when you come back the other way. I have a little bird right there. Okay, well, I like it. I'm trying to decide if I like that this, that ring is showing through and I think I, well, now I have a little drip right there as well. I talk with my hands. Um, okay, I'm gonna go. Oh, goodbye bird. I don't want that bird to go away. You guys are like, what is this crazy lady talking about with a bird? Okay, bye bye bird. Maybe it'll turn into some other animal. And I know some of you are screaming, don't take the bird away. Okay. Okay, I'm liking it. I'm liking this big stretched out river of cells. Looks like a rainbow through here. Yeah, pretty cool. I really like it. it I like it because it's totally different than my regular pores, so. Super happy to try something different. Almost looks like a snake through there. Do I want to do anything else to it, guys? Here, I'll bring you around. And then you guys can tell me in the comments if you would have wanted me to do something else to it. Always got to touch up these corners again. Thin paint. That's why I normally paint my canvas ahead of time. But oh well. So yeah, I think a little bit too much color. Again, like a, a too much in my cup. And there's a little bit left, I wonder. Should I put it somewhere? Oh, you guys are probably gonna hate me because I'm fiddling. Don't hate me. Love me. I think that's it. I like that little gold part right there. I think that's all that was in the cup. Yep. All right, I'll take you down. Let me actually remember to hit record this time around. So you can see the shimmer on the surface. I hope this one dries well. So again, I'll have to wait and show you then. But look at those that lacing and those big juicy cells. I love this part right here. Love that. Looks like stained glass to me or something. I don't know, you guys can tell me. I like that little river that I just put there. What's that? <laughs> 
What's there's so much stuff in these paintings, you guys. I I love that little river of rocks that's right there. Yeah, this is really, really pretty. Kudos to you, Sarah, for the ninja swipe. Definitely not my regular painting, but I really, really like it. So I'll let you guys see it once it's dry. And hopefully you'll be able to see all that shimmer in metallics. The ring pour, I mean, it creates those cool lines, but she gets a lot of cool stuff in hers too without doing the ring pour. So maybe just a puddle pour is good, but I like to try different things. All right, I'll stop rambling. Thanks guys, love you all to pieces. I'll be back with the dried result. All right, you guys, here is the dried result. It is beautiful. Um, definitely not as bright, but I feel like bright as uh, Sarah's normally are because I used all of the uh, extreme sheen, but I don't know if you guys, can, it looks like it's glowing. The, um, let me see if I can try to get you, I mean, it's not, like you can see it, but when you back away from it, man, that is beautiful. Those cells stayed right there in the center these right here i mean it's just it's really really pretty i like from the ring pour the lines that stayed right there i really like i like this piece it's totally different for me the kind of black backdrop so thank you very much for the inspiration sarah mack this was and I just wanted to show you guys, I was going to post the video because you guys learn from when I screw up as well. Um, I still may, I don't know, you guys can let me know in the comments if you want to see it. But really, I mean, here it is. I did the same thing, um, a ninja swipe, but my paints were too thin. And you see how I got kind of all this breaking of the paint here from the water. So those... Um, Extreme sheen, they don't do, I can't even get the whole thing in there, it's so big. They, um, they don't do well with thinning them down too much. So if you're gonna use them, I would make sure you do just a one-to-one -one ratio. And, you know, not much more than that for Floetrol or whatever pouring medium that you're using. And I didn't add any water to mine to water it down. So, I, I mean, I, I don't want to say that I like the effect, but it kind of looks like glitter, and when you get it in the light, it, it does kind of sparkle. But some of those little parts look like it's kind of lit up the veining where it came through. So again, I'm going to keep playing around. Ooh, that looks like a stomach or something right there, huh? <laughs> it kind of looks like, like the insides of a person. <laughs> okay, back to the cool one here. Um, so anyway, so that was my first one. Too thin of a paint, too thin paints. Don't do that. This one, I mixed it one to one. It was perfect. Love it. Gonna continue working with it. Seeing what else I can do. You guys let me know what you think and hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys the next time. Till then, happy painting. Bye.